This is Blount County Jane Doe. Blount County Jane Doe was a young woman found deceased in Tennessee in 2003. She was pro possibly the victim of a serial killer, although the cause of death could not be determined. The female's remains were located by surveyors in a wooded area near a creek near the Knoxville Airport on March the 25th, 2003. Her bones have been scattered around the area and her lower jaw bone has never been recovered. She is believed to have died sometime between 1998 and 2002. Thirty bones were recovered between March the 25th and 26th and nine others were found in December of 2006. It is believed changes in water levels were at least partially responsible for her skeleton being spread around. Most of the clothing appeared to have been moved around. However, some clothing at the scene indicated that she may have been in the medical field. They were, they were traced to an establishment in Chicago in the Oak Lawn area of Illinois. She may have originally been from the northern region of the United States. Now this story was all the way back into the 70s and she was a young girl named Trini Gibson who had gone on a field trip with her class into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park which is probably an hour's drive from Knoxville more or less. There was another young woman when during the time that this girl after she'd gone missing um, people near Knoxville on a logging road found the remains or some partial remains of a, of a woman, a young girl, and determined her to be Tracy Sue Walker. Now this girl was from Indiana, but she was found on a logging road in the area close to Knoxville, Tennessee. And this was in 1978. She went missing in 1978 from Lafayette, Indiana. And her body was found, discovered, near Campbell County, Tennessee. Her body was found on April the 3rd, 1985, about seven years after she disappeared. Now, the reason that I'm talking about these two is because... When they were searching for Trina Gibson, when they found the remains of this Tracy Sue Walker, um, the family, of course, you know, and people in the area thought for a little while that it might be Trina Gibson. And, you know, once the identity was made of the body and they found out that it wasn't Trina Gibson, they started looking into this Tracy Sue Walker and her story and how it was that she may have ended up from Indiana all the way to Tennessee, even though there's a great distance in time, um, picking up where I left off, she may have originally been from a northern region of the United States. Speculation includes the fact that she may have been the victim of a serial killer. The offender may have also been a trucker passing through the area, who had selected hitchhikers as his victims. Despite this, the cause and manner of death remains a mystery. She had protruding front teeth, and the left, the two incisors were missing prior to her death. She had synthetic black braids. This is from Facebook, black and missing but not forgotten. Jane Doe, 2003, this was dated, um, so she was found March the 25th, 2003. She was estimated to be between the ages of 18 and 25. She was an African American with um, hair color and eye color unknown. She was estimated to be around 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 8. And... 
she was identified on March, well, she was unidentified female discovered March the 25th, 2003, Alcoa, Tennessee. The female skeletal remains were found along a creek in a small wooded area near the Knoxville airport. It is estimated that she had been deceased somewhere between eight months and four years. So basically this would have put her being there for around 1998, 1999, possibly. Um, that's still a 20 year gap between Trini Gibson's disappearance, Tracy Sue Walker's body being discovered in the area you know, not too far from this same area. Is it possible that it could be a serial killer? Um, Trini Gibson went missing inside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. For her to have been, to have made it to the highway, and keep in mind, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park was probably a lot different in the 70s than it is today. There probably wasn't as much traffic. But there were people there. There were tourists there. If she had kept walking along the roadway, eventually a park ranger or a visitor to the park or someone would have come along. I, I don't know that Trina Gibson made it out of the park unless she was grabbed and thrown into someone's vehicle. I, th I personally keep going back to her case and believing that it had more to do with one of her classmates. But Tracy Sue Walker was known to have been from Indiana. This Blount County Jane Doe was thought to have been possibly from northern uh, United States. The clothing that she was wearing were... Um, hospital type clothing I'm guessing scrubs maybe and they were linked to a manufacturer in Illinois that doesn't necessarily mean but DNA and stuff you know they they have new advancements where they can determine kind of get a idea of where a person may be from um, Small black synthetic braids were found near the body and thought to have come from the deceased. She had two unique characteristics in her teeth. Two of her upper front teeth were missing prior to her death, and her two front teeth protruded outwards almost in a horizontal... Um, they were almost horizontal, meaning that she had buck teeth but that they were that they protruded out her lower jaw was never discovered the female was found with a blue fleece jacket and a white tank top the white tank top read I don't need a great deal of love just a steady supply the facial reconstructions were done by a forensic artist with the University of Tennessee and portrays what the female may have looked like in life. I'm going to do some more reading up on missing or unidentified women or bodies discovered in the area around Knoxville and the area surrounding that whole section of Tennessee. It's possible that it could have been a serial killer. I mean, 20 years is a big gap, but keep in mind, if it's a truck driver or someone like that, and, and this may not even be a truck driver. This could just be someone who kidnaps girls, women in Indiana, Illinois, and, or, I mean, I don't know why this, either of these two women would have been hitchhiking. It makes more sense for when you when you read these older cases from way back in the 70s, it makes a little bit more sense to think that maybe they were hitchhiking because the internet and people didn't know about these possibilities of being kidnapped and murdered the way that they do now. Hopefully they will discover this 
person's remains through our, our family relations through DNA. You know, I've done a story on Tracy Sue Walker. They were able to trace her family back to Lafayette, Indiana. Her family has no idea, or at the time that they were interviewed, they said they had no idea how she ended up across the state lines. How she died was a mystery. When she was first discovered, they thought she was a very young child, probably between the ages of 10 and 15. I think she was actually 17. It took 20 years after her body was discovered for them to be able to submit samples of her DNA, and they were able to trace her family back to Indiana. People in the Tennessee area, Blountville, County and Blount County and the in the areas between Knoxville and Strawberry Plains. This was the same area where this man was murdered. Um, I did a video about the Canadian Blair Adams. He had come down from Canada and it was a big mystery. He had all this Canadian money and um, he had American money. He had gold coins. He had all this stuff, he was not robbed. None of, the, none of his belongings were taken. But he was beat to death and possibly ran over with a truck and found in an empty parking lot in a construction area in Knoxville. So there's something going on down there in that area. And I just want to say to people, if you're traveling through there, just anywhere you're traveling in the world, anywhere, especially if you're alone, to be very careful and watchful of your surroundings. I don't want people to live in fear, but these stories show us that the world is not, you know, as safe as we would like for it to be. Thanks for watching.